Welcome in everybody. Today's video will be going over the top 10 cards for salary cap. This is just my opinion. You may have different opinions. If you think your top 10 is different than mine, please let me know and I would definitely like to check out the cards you think are better. But obviously number one is Sharif. I would say you can get this card for anything less than 30k in the auction house right now. He has good stats all around. I'm not going to go full in the depth into it because you can see the stats right here. They do not lie for a power forward. And he has 26 badges right now. All of these are upgradable. I still have one more badge to put on him, so I just haven't decided what badge it will be yet. But once he is fully golded out right now, he will be a beast. He already is a beast for my team. So let's move on to number two. Okay, the next card we have is James Posey, which I think is the second best card in salary cap. These two cards, though, definitely could be used in your online play right now. A lot of people have them in their starting lineups for no money spent. But James Posey is a beast as well, right? 6'8", great badges all around as well. A little better three-point shot. Defense is a lot better, in my opinion. So is the agility. And strength is the only thing that's a little less. But the badges are about the same. This one is already golded out, so it is crazy. My one and two definitely are interchangeable. It's not really that far off on them. It's just I have Sharif. I do not have James Posey. So that's why. Coming in at number three, we got Clarence Weatherspoon. He is another power forward. Shocker, shocker. But he has 16 badges, not as much as the other ones. But he does hold his own. He is a little shorter. That's okay, though. His three-point shot is a little worse than the other two. Under 80 is not ideal for me, but he hits his shots. His jump shot does take a little while to get used to, but I definitely do think defensively and rebounding-wise, he is good at pushing the break. It's 84 speed, so I still think he is very useful. Okay, moving in at number four, we got Melton. He definitely could be number one. It's just the availability to try to get him now in the auction is crazy he definitely is in the auction house for around 100k on bad days right now he's only at 80 but i'm just not willing to spend the mt on him right now and i haven't gotten him out of a pack but he is a really good point guard obviously i would re recommend running him as a point guard even though he's a shooting guard he is 6-3 but he is a monster defensively he has some good stats as well Defensively, the 88 perimeter defense is clutch, and then the speed and agility and speed with ball is crazy, obviously, and then the pass perception as well, and he definitely does come up with a lot of badges as well, so he definitely is the point guard one you want to have in salary cap if you can get him. Okay, moving on to number five, we got Raf. He is a center. He's 6'11", has a great three-point shot, 88. It's a really easy jumper to time from what it was in past 2Ks. Defensively, 85 interior, 81 block. Offensive and defensive rebounding pretty well. The only downside to him is his speed being under 70 as a center. Isn't really ideal for me, but he does have 87 strength, so it kind of it works out if you like a center like that. But my centers are all 70 plus speed. That's just kind of how I like it, so I haven't gone all in on buying him, but he is a good center if you can get your hands on him. The badges are still there. Someone upgraded this to Hall of Fame badges, but he has 17 badges, which is not bad as a center. That can space the floor for you. Okay, number six, you could say I'm biased because I did just get him and I'm having a ton of fun using him, but Glenn Davis as my starting center, even though he's a power forward, is still a monster at 6'9". I love this dude. Um... The stats are pretty good, 83. I wish it was higher, but I live with it. His shot is really easy to time. Interior defense is still pretty good. Offensive and defensive rebounds, 86. We love that. The 80, 78 speed, excuse me, is amazing. Um, the strength, the 97, that's the second thing I love about him is how strong he is. It's hard to move that guy on the defensive end. And he's just a beast all around for his size. Um, he only has 13 badges which I don't really have a problem with him as my center. He definitely isn't getting scored on easily, and he does a great job of protecting the paint. I just got to upgrade two of his badges, add two more badges, and he will be amazing. Okay, at number seven, we have Jay Crowder, Celtics legend. He is only 6'6", though. That is the downside of this card. He has a great three-point shot. Ball handling's great. Defensively, he is great as well. Speed is the downside of this card being a 79 overall. 
I wish it was higher, but the agility is still an 88, so he does make up for it on the defensive end. At number eight, we got Reggie Williams. He is 6'7", a little better for a small forward. Driving layup is great. Three-point shot is great as well. He has a great driving dunk. Ball handling isn't great, so he's more of a 3 and D guy, which isn't a problem. Defensively, he's okay. He's great. He has his stuff. He is faster than Jay. Agility's a little lower. So he still is a really good card defensively as a 3 and D guy. At number 9, we have Derek Favors, who is my backup center, even though he is a power forward. He is 6'10", so he does have good height. Um, offensively, he is good. The only thing that's missing is his three-point shot being above a 70, but I'm still able to... I have green shots with him in games at a 66. If you're able to hit shots with AD at Amethyst, you can hit shots with David Favors. His jump shot is a lot easier to time. He has no ball handling, obviously, being a power forward center, but his interior defense is really good, and he is a 78 speed with an 86 strength, stamina, and he still has badges to back it up as being a sapphire. So I definitely still think this card is a top 10, and he's very cheap to get for under $12,000. Now we move on to number 10 to round off the list. We got Josh. He is a 6'8 shooting guard, which I love. I have him running my shooting guard, even though he can play both shooting guard and small forward. But having a 6'8 shooting guard is ideal for salary cap. Three-point shot is an 80, ball handling 86. Perimeter defense is an 85 with 80 interior defense, which is crazy as a shooting guard. I love that for him. So if he ever does get switched in a pick and roll, I can I can use him for a little bit. Speed 85, agility 85, strength 64, which he's a shooting guard. So I'm not really surprised by that. But he is my starting shooting guard on my salary cap team. And he does have badges. He has 12 badges with three more being able to upgrade. So he is a great card all around. I definitely do think he makes this list complete. And then we have one honorable mention. I'd be doing you a disservice if I did not tell you about Steve Blake. If you watched basketball growing up, when he was playing, this man was a dog, right? He's a 6'3 point guard, 88 three-point shot, driving layup 84, ball handling 86, defensively 84, and then he's 84 speed, 85 agility, which is great. And he still has 12 badges. I don't think I've upgraded any of his badges yet. But to top it off, he's only 500 for salary cap. So having a budget-friendly and stellar point guard on your salary cap team is ideal. But I hope this video helped you. I will be dropping YouTube videos on the top 10 point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and center later this week the point guard one will be coming out later today as well i hope this video helped you if you have any questions about new videos or just help in any way please let me know have a great day